An incredible mother and daughter, grandmother and daughter, mother and baby. Not <laughs> sure which way <laughs> round it all goes, but that's Emma Miles. Emma gave birth to her own granddaughter, right? Uh, she's 55 years of age and Emma's daughter, Tracy, uh, is there beside her. And we're going to tell Tracy's story of why this came about. And the star of the whole show is baby Evie. Hello, and how, how old is Evie now, Tracy? She's 12 weeks on Wednesday. Brilliant. Weeks. Three months. She's absolutely gorgeous. superb. Right. What a special bond all of this is. Right? It's, it's absolutely incredible. Has this brought you all closer together or, or how, how do you no, see...? No, not really. We were close before, so it made no difference. Yeah. But the thing is, Emma, when you... I mean, do you see yourself, you are technically the grandmother, but you're also technically the, the mother? I'm Tracy's mother. So you don't see yourself no. as Evie's mother? No, not at all. How, how do you see that then? How, when you look at her, you just think of her as your granddaughter? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, so this came about uh, because, Tracy, you discovered at what age that you couldn't have children and 16. why? 16. Mm -hmm. And how did that happen? Um, a lot of tests at the doctor and um, blood tests, scans, and uh, I did a laparoscopy and uh, that's when they found out that I was born without a womb. Born without a womb. Mm -hmm. So there be no indication of that before no. when she was a baby? No, nothing at all. Um, at 16, did you think at that point, well, that means I can't have children? Yeah. So, you say even at that young age? Yeah. And how did that affect you? Um, I was devastated, obviously. Um, that's the only word I can describe mm. it, actually, yeah. And then um, you met Adam, mm -hmm. your now husband. Yeah. Um, and you say so you were friends first, so he knew about this, didn't he? Yeah, he knew before we even got together. Oh, bless Ooh. you. Ooh. Oh, yeah. babies are so cute <laughs> when they sneeze. <laughs> um, so he, he knew. So yeah. you, you must have had that discussion, I presume, when you got together um, about children. Yeah. Um, I, I just thought it, it was never going to happen. And um, a few years down the line, he did suggest um, looking into surrogacy um, organisations and um, when we looked into it it just they cost thousands so um, so you thought this is probably not going to be yeah. for us and this so is where you step in how much then did you all just take... offered I offered if there's anything I can do I'll do it and then Tracy mum offers do you think well of course or do you think oh, hold on a minute um we, were, we had a consultation and um, before we went round IVF, uh, they said, well, they asked, have you got a surrogate in mind? And we said, no, well, not really. And um, she suggested using a family member. So um, I said to my mum, you know you said you would, do you want to? And she said, yeah, of course. But even though you were 55 years of age? Well, 53 at the time. Yeah, <laughs> 53. Yeah. But still, you know, consider, that's considered old for, to have a child now. You do anything for your child then? Really? I mean, there obviously are risks involved, Emma, aren't there? Yeah. I mean, I had my son when I was, I was 42, you know, oh, and, right. and we all know that the risks are there. Yeah. And they're they're yes. um, heightened when you're older. Uh, what did the medical people say to you, your doctors and things about... Oh, they explained every risk possible. And I said to her, there's a risk, you're crossing the road or going in the car. So it's something, you know... Well taken. Yeah. Um, although you, you don't have a womb, Tracy, you still have fallopian tubes, so you could produce eggs. Mm -hmm. So this was done by IVF. Yeah. So it's your egg mm -hmm. it was then implanted in, into yeah. your mum. When you were pregnant, how was that with the two of you, knowing that that, that your mum is growing your mm -hmm. baby? And, and also, Emma, it had been a while, hadn't it? 25 years almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so what, I mean, do you get the whole effect? Do you get the morning sickness, all this sort the of thing? The morning sickness, as normal. And then after that, plain sailing. Yeah. And you were prepared to, you were prepared to have a natural birth? Yes. Yeah, but yeah. It, didn't, it didn't turn out that way? No, no. No, the cervix was too high up and the pessaries weren't doing anything, so we decided we'll go for the cesarean. And then you and Adam Tracy were both there. So we what were, was yeah. that moment like? When, and I mean, obviously, you're dying to, to meet your new baby yeah. girl or boy. You didn't know at that time. But, but you must have been worried about your mum. Uh, yeah. yeah, of course I was. Yeah. She wasn't your baby girl, as it turned out. She's your mummy's baby girl, and you have to technically adopt. You have to adopt your own child. Yeah. Um, 
Biologically, she is mine. Mm. Legally, she's not. Um, in the eyes of the law, she's my mum's mm. daughter. But um, we've got to go through the court to get a parental order, which we have been granted. So we are legally her mum. I'm, I'm assuming that was fairly straightforward because nobody's yeah. contesting it. No. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was all done. Yeah. Did, yeah. You, did you in any way, Emma, find it hard to hand Evie over? No. To, to let go? No, not at all. No, to set her mind, her daughter, and that's it. And did you, did you tell yourself that all through your pregnancy? Did you have to steal yourself? No. No? No. That just naturally yes. didn't feel it was your child? No, not at all. No. I keep saying, treated my baby and a sister. <laughs> um, question is, would you do it again? Yes, I would. <laughs> Straight away, look. Like, yep. <laughs> I've told I'm not going to ask her to do it again. You wouldn't <laughs> ask her to do it again? No, she's, you know, she's done us, you know, yeah. proud with just this one. So. And what has this done to your relationship as as a family? As you know, when when I came in and I said, "Who's the mother and who's the daughter?" and, and really that does apply um, to, to you guys. How much closer has this made you all? No different. No, we were already close anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, she's Matter of fact, Emma. You're very, you're very. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It was a job yeah, to do. You did yeah. it. That was it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Are you happy to be a granny? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, she's absolutely beautiful. Congratulations Thank to you. all of you. You look gorgeous, aren't you? Okay. Yeah. You Another little that. sneeze before we go. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's lovely. Thank well, you very congratulations. Much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.